doing? How are you? Good. I'm good. You know, I, I feel rescued. <laughs> well, how about that? I'm sure you watched President Biden's speech last night. Oh, just uh, when I think about what the president sounded like a year ago, it, it brings tears to my eyes to have such a compassionate, reasonable, thoughtful leader who is so full of humility and is the perfect person for this moment of crisis. His ability to just soothe and calm and bring people together and give us this very specific vision of hope is just awesome. And let's talk about what this is bringing monetarily for us in, in, in terms of hope. $190 million coming to the city of Oakland. What are we going to do with it? Well, and let's be clear, a lot more than that is going to come to the city of Oakland in the form of direct checks for our most vulnerable, rent assistance, small business assistance. But this is the first aid package that recognizes that cities like Oakland have taken huge hits to our revenues. That's why we had to make heartbreaking cuts earlier this year. And this $192 million that is coming to Oakland to actually help our budget that is a rescue. <laughs> we, we are feeling rescued right now. Uh, I'm urging everyone to call your council member and urge them to use this money to restore the police services that we've had to cut, the parks and library workers that we had to recut that now we can bring back and actually open those facilities under the red tier. Uh, and I really want to send a message of of caution and prudence that let's restore these services that had to be cut because of our financial crisis before we start adding new things. Resist that temptation. We have a huge shortfall in the upcoming budget that we have to address more than $300 million. Uh, so this 192 million goes a long ways towards fixing it, but isn't even quite enough to get us back to the service levels that people were expecting. No, you'd like residents to call their council members to try to convince them to uh, give more money to the police department. I think we can all agree that public safety needs to be improved in Oakland. What would be the resistance to that? Well, you know, there is a very important conversation going on right now about reimagining public safety. And that is a great conversation for us all to have. But in a city like Oakland that already has the lowest officer per <laughs> crime staffing of any city in the country, uh, these cuts have been devastating. I think people are feeling them. And they don't just impact you know, the fact that you don't see a walking officer in your neighborhood. It impacts uh, our ability to actually clean in and around homeless encampments. Uh, workers require police presence to do that. Uh, it has these other impacts that people might not be aware of. And so that's where we really had to make the deepest cuts in the police department. Uh, certainly people have noticed the sideshows have been out of control because we had to cut the overtime to address sideshows. Um, these are things that uh, really have got to come back as quickly as possible uh, so that we can do the important work of rebuilding our economy, taking care of our most vulnerable and getting shots in those arms. All right, so some of the resistance we might see, uh, the movement that really grew last summer, which is the defund the police movement, the sort of mistrust against how things are currently being handled. Is that what you think you're gonna come up against when it comes to concerns from council members? And what's interesting is every time we do public opinion polling, people support the defund the police movement, but they don't want fewer police. They want bigger investments in mental health, in non-police emergency response. These are things that everyone agrees on. The question will be how to pay for them and how to stand up new services. But I think there is tremendous consensus that we need a non-police emergency response response, that we need more mental health support out in the field. And frankly, just to end the stigma of mental health and to provide adequate care for everyone, 
early on before mental health really becomes a crisis. So these are all things that I think are areas of tremendous consensus, but the public polling shows that the vast majority of Oaklanders do not want fewer police. Now, the numbers that you just gave shows that um, this 190 million isn't even gonna fix the budget deficit. You're still looking at what, another $100 million? Where are those cuts gonna come from? You know, we've made those types of cuts before. Uh, the thing that I really want to caution is let us restore before we start adding new things. Uh, I, I believe that the $192 million can really get us back to acceptable service levels as long as people don't peel it off for pet projects or new initiatives. I urge people to encourage your council member just reinvest in the uh, restorations of services that were recently cut. Let us see how this economic recovery goes before we try new things. All right, talking about economic recovery, Alameda County finally in the red tier. How's that been going for Oakland? Oh, I think people just, I know everyone is saying it this week, light at the end of the tunnel, uh, but while we have to you know, be proud that we moved up to the red tier, we can't let our guard down. We have to continue practicing masking, social distancing, because we saw what happened over the summer where we kind of got, got too excited about reopening. We had that horrible tragic surge in the winter. So let's remember that. Uh, let us enjoy the fact that we can return to our favorite restaurants and shops and even the gym. I know a few of us have missed that, <laughs> um, but we, we've got to keep practicing these safety protocols for a long time if we really are going to see this as a steady recovery and not something where we're swinging back and forth. And this weekend, we're finally talking about bars, wineries, breweries reopening. What is that going to do for you know the, the quality of life in the city? Anyone who has watched just the rebirth and revitalization of Oakland's downtown has been heartbroken over this last year. The plywood on the windows, the just emptiness of the sidewalks in what was just one year ago, a bustling and really emerging cultural scene, restaurant scene. And so I know that while we have to exercise caution, I am truly looking forward to supporting these amazing small businesses that we are blessed to have in Oakland. I know we all wanna see one another again. Um, and we are lucky to have such wonderful weather. And as daylight savings time is coming up, we can continue to enjoy these reopened businesses, but let's do so as much as possible outdoors. And the city is here to facilitate that with our flex streets, our slow streets. We're really repurposing our roads to um, have more economic activity and community activity where once only cars were. Okay, it could be a, a really bright summer in Oakland, but let's talk about schools, you know, when it comes to the wave of reopenings, we're still not seeing a lot of progress there. Uh, where are we at? Well, you know, uh, Oakland Unified just result, um, Oakland Unified just res sorry, Oakland Unified just released poll results to show where families are as far as whether they want to send their children back or not. And I commend OUSD because they are giving families choices. Um, frankly, we talk about it at our own dinner table because it's an issue that I have to contend with, not just as the mayor, but as a mom. Uh, I am anxious to get our kids back in school. We've seen what a toll it has taken on our children, not just academically, but social emotionally. And I commend the district for really trying to get a deal done with the teachers union. That is the one thing that is holding us back from reopening the schools. The district is ready with HEPA filters and the safety protocols, screenings, uh, but we have to try and reach that agreement with our beloved teachers. We want everyone to feel safe coming back. Uh, there's some agreement about allowing teachers to volunteer to come back. The question will be if those volunteers don't meet the needs of the number of families that want their children to come back. 
Okay. So still no real timeline. It, it seems very similar to what we were talking about about two weeks ago at this point. Well, you know, the pressure is increasing because Alameda County now has been in the red. Our numbers have been in the red for two weeks. Remember, for us to make that announcement, it means that the cases were that low for a full two weeks. And there is money on the table. The deal that Gavin Newsom and the legislature struck means that elementary schools and at least one middle or high school grade has to be reopened by April 1st. And that is getting closer and closer for districts to enjoy a huge pot of money that has been allocated to help reopen. So that incentive and that timeline is definitely applying pressure. And as the district has done its due diligence to really assess exactly how many students would come back for reopening, I feel like we are getting closer. I know that I cannot stand another day where our kids are separated from their teachers and not getting the full education that they deserve. And as mayor, are you doing anything to try to talk with the teachers unions or just kind of staying out of it? I know that there's so many factors at play. I'm trying to use my bully pulpit like I'm doing with you, Anne. I'm trying to send a clear message that the community wants schools reopened so that families can have the choice of sending their kids back. And of course, we want our teachers to be safe. I have pushed very hard to prioritize teachers for vaccinations. We were successful in that effort. You know, I organized the big city mayors to make that push. And of course, the governor announced a specific set aside for teachers. I was at the Coliseum site last Friday, a week ago today, and it was teacher day. And it was great to see all these teachers getting their vaccinations at the mass uh, Coliseum vaccination site. So I think as more and more teachers are vaccinated, which again, they deserve that priority because our kids deserve that priority. All right, anything else you'd like to discuss today? Uh, I think that's it. Okay, it's a lot going on. Always, but yes, the, the American Rescue Plan is the Oakland Rescue Plan. That's for sure. And so okay. I'm excited about that. Thanks. Yes, Have a good yes. a lot of hope. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk to you soon.